yesterday, 5.23 p.m. Um, I don't know how to start this. I've never done anything like this. Hi, my name's Tom. I'm 15, and I uh, thought I'd share my experiences. This is my third voicemail that I've left you. sit in my my flat and watch people walk by outside my window and, and just think, how am I so alone in a place where there are so many people? Such a vibrant, bursting city full of people, but I feel so lonely. Like I'm the only person who's not with anyone. The evenings are the hardest. You see people out every night, Instagrams of couples and friends, and you just feel like the whole world's at a party that you are invited to. When I finished university, I moved to London, and I was living in a flat share with people I didn't know. They weren't very nice and I didn't get on with them at all. I do specifically remember one day I was heading home from university back to this flat and I've never in my life not wanted to be going somewhere as much as that. It was rush hour and I was standing up on the tube and there were so many people around me and I was just sobbing. Not one single person looked up or saw me or spoke to me just to even ask if I was okay. Not one single person. In that moment, I've never felt so isolated. It wasn't until after Christmas where the issues really started to stay in. And I, I realised that it was getting worse. My mental health was getting worse. But I was basically just eating soup and garlic bread. That was my diet. So yeah, I was subsidising this kind of overarching pain and kind of sudden emptiness with going out with my mates and drinking far too much. Every single time, the point where I'd either vomit or I'd make regrettable decisions and fuck my friends, basically. <laughs>
relationship I was in was um, very toxic. I couldn't tell anyone about what was happening in the relationship, even my best friend. I thought that I loved him at the time, so I always had a fear that if I did tell them everything that was happening, that they wouldn't ever accept him again. He was very emotionally and verbally abusive. 
and sometimes it got physical. A situation where the police had to be called, and there was a court case. But I'm glad that happened in the end because although I am now living by myself and I am on my own, I feel less lonely than I did in that relationship. I've always felt this uh, part of feeling lonely inside me due to having Asperger's syndrome and Tourette's syndrome. It drags you down a lot and it controls your life. There was a time where I I was on the verge of killing myself, I'll be honest. It's, it's a horrible thought to look back on. It really makes you think about who else is feeling like this. And it's so difficult to think to yourself, I'm not the only one. People who are feeling lonely, as soon as someone says hello to them, then that can bring so much happiness and joy and you can automatically feel so much more connected with yourself and everyone else. Your mailbox is full. You will not receive any more messages until you've deleted some.